Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everyone. I'm Richard. And I'm Emily. Stay tuned for College Connections, weather, and all the info you need to know. But first, we'll listen with the weather. Thanks, Richard. Today for weather, it will be a high of 80 and a low of 69. As we were walking in school, it was 58 degrees, and at lunchtime, there will be a few rain showers and 65 degrees. After school, it will be cloudy at 77, and for the game tonight, it will be mostly cloudy at 75. That's all the weather for today. Now back to Richard. Thanks, Alyssa. For lunch today in lines 1 and 2, we'll have taco meat with scoops. Line 3 will be soup and salad bar. The soup will be chili and broccoli. For line 4, there will be leftovers, which will be orange chicken, taco snack, and chicken patty. There will also be 4 by 6 pizza. Line 5 will be closed. A happy birthday goes out to Nicholas Haynes, Dorian Padilla, Rene Velasco, and Luke Schwartz, and HGTV's very own Nolan Varner, now to Sports with the Scarlet. Thanks, Emily. A good job goes out to our elementary schools for their cross-country meet yesterday. For boys' results, in first place was Green Meadows with 26 points, and in second was Suncrest with 29 points. And for girls, first place was Suncrest with 17 points, and Green Meadows falling with 46. A good luck goes out to our football team as they head to North Montgomery today and our soccer team as they head to finals against Crawfordsville. Kickoff is at 7, Saturday at Lebanon. That's it for sports. Now back to the studio with Richard. Thanks, Escarla. All 10th grade students and any 11th grade students who signed up to take the PSAT exam on Wednesday, October 10th, they should report directly to their test room at 7.30 and bring a calculator. Cell phones will be collected if brought into the testing room. Yesterday we acknowledged our district honor band, and today we are going to acknowledge our regional our region honor band. Congratulations to Ella Regal and Olivia Ramos. Also, congrats Olivia for getting second chair. Seniors, today is your last day to turn in your senior night permissions or information sheet. Please make sure to turn in your paper today in the athletic department. And before we wrap up, a message from Miss Scanlon. Maybe. Good morning, Hot Dogs. I'm Ms. Ganley, your College Connection Coach, and today we're going to continue to talk about Purdue University's West Lafayette campus and everything that's great about being a Boilermaker. For instance, did you know that the term Boilermaker was originally an insult used by a rival team against Purdue's team? But instead, Purdue decided to embrace it, and we've been the Boilermakers for the last 150 years. So some things to know about the campus. It is about 40,000 students strong. It's a large one. Tuition is about $10,000 a year. Now, remember, Hot Dogs, as Indiana State residents, you get that big in-state tuition at Purdue. That's what makes it $10,000 a year. For people coming out of state, they're paying closer to $25,000 to $30,000 a year. So don't expect a lot of financial aid specifically from Purdue because you're already getting that big discount. If that $10,000 a year doesn't sound great to you but you still want to go to Purdue, look for outside scholarships. Now, for seniors, please get those applications in by November 1st, this November 1st. You still have a month to fill it out. Now, it is about $50, so there are some fee waivers out there. It's online. You can use your Common App if you already have that filled out. Now, if any of you are thinking about going to Purdue Nursing or Vet Tech or Computer Science, November 1st is their hard deadline. You can't get accepted after that. For the rest of you, after November 1st, they're going to stop handing out merit scholarships. So you're not going to get any of that great free money for your GPA or those amazing SAT or ACT scores. For those of you applying, I know you've all heard of Purdue's amazing engineering program, and yes, it's one of the best in the world. But also consider construction management technology. It's a new major, and students are getting hired right after graduation, and it's a good alternative to engineering. Also consider Purdue's ag program. It's one of two in Indiana. They also have vet tech, and they are our vet school in the state. Now, for those of you who have no clue what they want to do, Purdue also has an amazing exploratory studies program. So you start out focusing on your general credits, and you meet for an hour or so a week, and you go through your likes, your dislikes, or your good at, or your bad at. Local business members from the community come in and talk about what they do, all to help you figure out what's the profession to go into. And most of those students still graduate in four years. Now, if you have any questions at all, I'm a former Boilermaker, happy to help you out, but I also have these amazing pamphlets at my table. Now, Boiler Up Hot Dogs, it's gonna be a great day. 
That's all for HDTV. Tune in next week for all the latest deets. Have a good weekend. See you later. Thank you.